So we just talked about levels of organization from the entire muscle organ, which is made up of these fascicles. This is one fascicle here that is composed of many muscle fibers, which are long, long muscle cells. So now we're gonna zoom into this guy right here, this long muscle fiber, which you already can see some characteristics of it. Well, it's really long and it's full of protein fibers is full of, full of myofibrils, which are made up of myofilaments. Okay, let's, let's break that down. Okay, so I'm gonna draw for you a muscle cell and tell you about the structures that are in it, where they're gonna use those structures so we'll get some repetition um, throughout this week. This is going to be the end of our muscle cell. Um, and then we've got, I'm gonna draw it like in three dimensions try to. So here's that muscle cell and here's the back of it. It's, it's a cell. So it's going to have a bunch of nuclei. I'm going to make my nuclei pink and they're all squished to the outside of the cell. And there's a bunch of them. So multiple nuclei, not really necessarily these diverse shapes. Um, here's my key that I'm going to give you here. These are our nuclei. Multiple cells fuse together during development. Um, so they're gonna be multiple nuclei in this one cell, pretty unique. So this is a muscle fiber or cell that I'm drawing here. Those nuclei are squished to the side because this cell is packed full of myofibrils. Myofibrils are what are going to work together to contract and allow the muscles to contract. So here's my little myofibrils. This is another level of organization. These myofibrils are made up of proteins. And they are going to span the length of this cell. So I've drawn one of these myofibrils along the link to show you what this looks like. You wouldn't really be able to see this through what? What's surrounding the neuron? I'm sorry, the muscle cell. It's gonna be surrounded by, um, first of all, a plasma membrane. And then around that, the endoneurium as well. So this would actually be covering, covered with plasma membrane. The name for the plasma membrane in a muscle cell a special name, is called the um, sarcolemma. Sarco refers to muscle. So you're going to see several sarco prefixes. Um, sarcolemma is the first one that I'm introducing. Sarcolemma is the cell membrane of the muscle. There's also a special name for our cytoplasm. The cytoplasm of a muscle cell is called the sarcoplasm. Makes some sense, right? The sarcoplasm is going to be where there is the aqueous solution of the, the cytosol itself, as well as all of the organelles that are in a muscle cell. Myofibrils are one of those specialized structures. Another organelle in the muscle is going to be the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Yes, that is like the endoplasmic reticulum, but specific to a muscle cell, S-E-R or S-R, you'll see this abbreviated. This is going to be a specialized organelle in the muscle cell where there's going to be storage of calcium molecules. That's really important for contraction. What else? Um, the other thing you'll see along this muscle is striations. So skeletal muscles as well as cardiac are striated. And that means that there's stripes. So it's gonna kind of, oops, let me change the color here. There we go. Um, stripes, these, these stripes, their striations are due to the organization of the myofibrils um, and the organization of myofilaments within the myofibrils. We'll get to that in the next video. But I do want to label for you here, these are striations shown here. Lastly, two more characteristics of muscle cells. 
um, there's going to be high glycogen levels. Glycogen is a polymer, so polysaccharide, we'll say, because it is. Um, it's made up of multiple glucose molecules. And the other thing, um, we're going to have myoglobin. This is a lot like hemoglobin, but it's a single subunit. It's going to be used to um, carry oxygen in the muscle cell. Myo is also a prefix for muscle. Um, and lastly, it's just one other organelle to point out. So down here, we've got sarcoplasmic reticulum. That's a specialized organelle. Another organelle that is important in muscles. What do you think? Uh, I just thought of it when I thought told you about glycogen and myoglobin. Mitochondria. Mitochondria are going to use this glycogen, right, um, use glucose is the subunit of glycogen, and use glucose to make ATP. Okay. This next image here um, ooh, doo -doo, is very similar to what I just showed, but a little bit um, a different detail. Up in the top right here, that's basically what I just showed you. Um, we're kind of breaking down the myofibrils. So this is showing the structure of a single myofibril in the make of the bulk of that sarcoplasm in the muscle cell. If you look at those myofibrils, this is a preview now of the next video, you can see um, how those myofibrils, so here is an individual myofibril, myofibril, the cell is packed full of them along with the mitochondria here as well, um, and, and nuclei. You have structures to the myofibrils. Myofibrils are made up of these thick and thin filaments, which more generally are called myofilaments, it's filaments in muscle cells. And that's what we'll get to with the next lecture there. The other thing here though, is you can see a few other here, th this blue is the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So you can see how dense it is, how important it is. It surrounds each myofibril. This is that SER, the sarcoplasmic reticulum that surrounds each myofibril. The last term that I wish want to introduce now, because you'll need to know it later, this yellow here, this is a transverse tubule. It is going to be continuous with the sarcolemma. Actually, you can see that right here. Um, I will put it over there as well. So this is a T tubule, which stands for transverse transverse tubule. And let me draw another line showing you that it comes from. Also, it is right here. The extensions of the sarcolemma that travel down, um, extend down into the center of the neuron surrounding these myofibrils. That will be important for um, contraction.